This is a list of all the programming languages out there. As a beginner, it was quite difficult for me to know which language to learn and what it is mainly used for. After exploring fields like web development, mobile app development, machine learning, cybersecurity, data science, and even blockchain, I have come out with this list of the top 10 programming languages to learn. And in this video, I will also be talking about its use cases in detail. The third programming language on this list is something that I've started to learn recently and is mainly used in the blockchain development field. Whereas the ninth language is the first programming language that I learned. Also comment your favorite programming language in the comment section below and follow me on Instagram because I will be choosing a random comment and giving them a free gift. So let's start with the first programming language which is Solidity. Now Solidity is mainly used to deploy smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain. Now if you want to get into the blockchain development field then this language is a must learn for you. Solidity has been evolving quite a lot in this last few years. Right now the latest Solidity version is 0.8. Back when I started learning Solidity, there weren't a lot of resources available on the internet. However, right now, even on YouTube, you will find a ton of content to learn Solidity development from. However, if you're still a beginner, then I would not recommend it for you. I would recommend you to learn something like JavaScript or something else before you jump onto Solidity. But I would highly recommend you to learn this language because it has a lot of scope in the future. The second language on this list is C++. Now, C++ is something that that almost all college students would relate to because that is something that is taught to us right from when we were in our schooling days. Now I had released a shorts video on the top 5 programming languages and there were a ton of comments about why C++ was not included in it and I'll give you a justification about that over here itself. So C++ is something that is taught to us right from our college days. It is kind of like a mandatory subject that everyone has to learn. So that's why almost everyone who started of their journey in this coding space, they almost all the time know about C++. Even for me, I started learning this language when I was in my 11th grade and that was a mandatory subject for us. The difficulty level of this language is actually quite low and I would recommend it for anyone who wants to learn about object-oriented programming languages, then C++ is the way to go. It is mainly used in the development of operating systems. The third one on this list and this is a programming language that I've recently started to learn and that is Rust. Rust is a programming language which is used on the Solana blockchain. Just like Solidity is used on Ethereum blockchain to deploy smart contracts, Rust is used on the Solana blockchain. Because of the growing popularity of Solana, right now everyone who is starting off their development journey in the blockchain space, they are learning Rust. Now as for the difficulty part, I've seen that Rust is quite a different language than JavaScript, Python or even C++. Right now I'm still learning about it but till now the journey has been quite a steep slope for me. Again, if you're a beginner, do not start with learning Rust programming language directly because it also does not have a lot of documentation. It does not have a lot of developers working on it, but it will eventually grow and I'm quite positive about it. Now the fourth programming language on this list is TypeScript. So I want to put it as TypeScript and JavaScript by the way. So TypeScript and JavaScript are quite similar and if you've learned JavaScript that means you've already learned half of what TypeScript is. There are some key differences between these two programming languages but I'd say if you've learned JavaScript, learning TypeScript is not difficult at all. JavaScript has quite a lot of versions. There's ES4 JavaScript, then there's ES5, ES6 and then there came TypeScript. TypeScript is growing quite rapidly and even if you go on Stack Overflow, you would see a lot of developers working on it. Now just like JavaScript is used in a variety of different things like web development, mobile app development and a lot more, TypeScript is also used in a variety of different things but it is mainly used for web development only. So if you are a person who wants to get into web development or become a full stack web developer, then TypeScript is the way to go. Now the fifth programming language on this list is Dart. Now Dart is specifically used with Flutter. So if you're someone who wants to develop mobile apps with Flutter or even web apps now, so you can go ahead and learn Dart. Even for me, I got to know about Dart when I was learning about the Flutter framework and developing mobile apps using it. Its difficulty level is quite low and it is even beginner friendly. So if you're someone who's learned JavaScript, then learning Dart is quite easy. Now Flutter's popularity has grown quite a lot in the last few years. And because of that, Dart is also being used by a lot of developers. 
The sixth programming language on this list is C Sharp. Now, C Sharp is a programming language that I myself have not explored a lot about, but I've seen many of my friends use it in game design and game development. As from what I've researched, C Sharp is not that difficult, especially if you've learned C++. And if you want to get into game development, then this is something that you need to learn. Right now, the gaming industry has been growing quite exponentially. And because of that, the popularity of C Sharp is also growing. I've not seen any other programming language dominate a space like C Sharp is dominating the game development space right now. Now, the seventh programming language on this list is Go. Now, Go was developed by Google. It is mainly used for cloud computing and server side coding. Again, I specifically have not used Go language quite a lot, but I've seen it grow in the blockchain space as well. It's actually quite an easy programming language to learn and you can basically learn it in a matter of weeks. If you've learned C and C++ programming languages, then learning Go is going to be a cakewalk for you. But I would only recommend you to learn it if you are interested in backend. So if you are interested in cloud computing, if you are interested in the server side rendering of things, then only learn Go language. The eighth programming language on this list is one of the most hyped one and it is considered to be the most beginner friendly language as well. It is Python. Unfortunately, Python was not my first programming language to learn, but I wish if I had the time to go back and relearn all the programming languages, I would start with Python itself. Python is quite easy to understand and even if you've not learned Python and you look at its code, you would be able to understand what that program does. Say for example, you want to print something, you just have to write print. Now Python again is used in a lot of different fields. It is also used in web development. It is used in uh, cyber security. It is used in ma machine learning. It is used in a lot of different fields. So if you want to get in on any of the fields, then Python is the way to go. Also for all the machine learning enthusiasts out there, I would highly recommend you to start with Python if you are interested in that field. By the way, most colleges in India also teach Python in their curriculum. So yeah, if your college teaches you Python, then you are quite lucky. Before I jump over to the ninth programming language on this list, we are really close to hitting the 25,000 subscriber mark. So please press the bell icon, press the subscribe button, everything, press the like button as well so that more people see this video and the ninth programming language on this list is java if you've watched my previous videos then you already know that this was the first programming language that i started out with and this is not something that i recommend to anyone Yes, I do not recommend any beginner to start out with Java because it's quite a difficult language to learn and you would spend a lot of time on learning this. I mean, just look at the syntax of printing a line. It's quite a difficult language to learn, especially for beginners, but there are a lot of good resources out there. So if you have found a good resource to learn Java from, then you can go ahead and learn it. But again, I do not recommend it. The sad part about it is that it is included in ICSC board's uh, curriculum. So if you are a student in the ICSC board, I know you probably hate me for saying this, but Java is not the language that you should be starting your journey with. Also, Java has been around for quite some time and because of that, it is used in a variety of different things. But right now, Java is mainly used for developing Android apps. So if you've used Android Studio, you would see that there are two options. You can either use Java or you can either use Kotlin. Java in itself is an object oriented programming language. That is why it is mainly taught to students because once you understand the hard concepts, once you understand the difficult concepts, learning the easier programming languages becomes quite easy. Now there is still one programming language missing on this list, which is the 10th one. But I want you guys to comment it down below. Tell me which programming language I should have added and which one you like among these nine. The comment with the highest number of likes will be winning a book from me. So make sure you comment it down below. Make sure you tell your friends to like it and also follow me on Instagram because I will be revealing the winners over there. Also, if you don't follow me, I won't be able to contact you. So make sure you follow me over there.